Well, Leon have got their new year off to the perfect start, of course. Four wins from four. They've not conceded a goal either. Back at the top of the table through to the quarterfinals of the Coupe de France. They may well be missing a few, and we'll get to that in a second, but they are formidable for Rodez. Alexandria La Montagna is out. She's replaced by Zoe Stevenar, the only change for Rodez. Helene Terrieu, who started her career with Lyon, will lead the Rodez attack. There is a new signing for Rodez as well. She's on the bench. Yerma Maji Issa for Leon. Plenty of absentees. Amadine Henri missing with sickness. Mala and Le Sommer both carrying injuries. We did expect some rotation today, but Sonia Belpastor has named what looks like the strongest lineup available. Sombet and Cascarino returning to the 11. The two changes for this one today. Well, the referee here checking on either side before we get underway. Rodez against Leon, about to start here on Atta Football. Just waiting for the perfect time, checking that the uh, officials on either side are ready and that we get the clock start. And away we go. It's Rodez who gets us started here. And Leon, who instantly win the ball back as they try to settle into their possession-based game. They have been known to be rather fluid in their formations, Leon, although they have settled into more recently what looks like a, a team that they'll run with and a formation that they'll run with for the remainder of the season, perhaps as a response to the injuries that the team have had some problems with. And again, the likes of... Uh, Le Sommer and Malar missing today. Just slight knocks, but enough to keep them away from the starting 11 for this one. Here is uh, Vanessa Gilles on the right hand side of defence, who has announced that she will be staying beyond the length of her uh, loan contract. She'll be here next season with the champions. Took a while to get going with Leon, but uh, Gio alongside Renard looks like a pretty decent partnership at the back as they've demonstrated with the number of clean sheets that they've recorded already in the new year. Hooked away by Marajan. Rodez have started the game strongly. The right hand side of defense with the ball back towards Sibert. Alice Sombat, the 19 year old, back in the lineup, couldn't keep the ball in play there. And a throw in for Pierre Louis here. They will need leaders here, Leon. That will be the one thing that perhaps is missing with the likes of Le Sommer away. And it has been an issue with Macario and Ada Hegerberg not around this season. Steven Ayer here for Rodez. Cuts the ball back. An opportunity to deliver. First cross into the area at either end. Straight up into the arms of Christian Enla. 
not hanging around here and there is plenty of space through the middle here for Leon. The gaps open up and the breakaway was on. The pass was played a bit too late and uh, Leon would have been in an offside position had the pass been received. Delphine Cascarino with the breakaway has just returned to the side for Leon after a spell away with injury. Rewarded for her goal in the Coupe de France. And straight into the lineup here. Marajan with the flick on. Haran is there, can't touch on to a teammate, but Leon have managed to grab control as it stands where there's trying to make it as awkward as possible in that central area for the champions who really like to get on the ball and like to pass teams to death almost. <laughs> Slip at the back by Leon, but Moroni manages to recover and Leon can get the ball to safety. on with the throw in and there is Sonia Bob Pastor masterminded such a brilliant season last season but there have been plenty more challenges in this one with the number of injuries so far so good though still in every competition and still the team to beat defending to do here though as the ball is lifted in and it's the header which luckily for Leon ends up in the arms of Christian Endler again. Slow start here from Leon as Marajan tries to step into the central area and grab some control. Somba doesn't get too long on the ball, but the referee says that was an unfair challenge. Really good pressure here on Sambat on the right-hand side, but Steven Air was uh, maybe a bit too eager to get to the ball. Chance for Leon to launch an attack, but the clearance away. And Bogey was back there to uh, touch away, and Sambat not hanging around. Damaris Egarula doesn't find the pass that she was hoping for. And again, it's Rodez who are very quickly looking to get on the break here. Jill had to come sliding in to make the challenge. Now Lindsay Horan finds Cascarino. Horan has continued her run here. And Debritz is making her way into the area as Cascarino falls the Rodez defence, steps away with her speed, eventually runs into traffic. And then Horan in an offside position as she receives the pass from Damaris Egarula. Well, Leon haven't really settled into their rhythm so far in this game. Rodez have nothing to lose bogey with a pass back back towards Sibert now Cannon Cannon is fouled as Besho tries to win the ball back and that's a free kick for Rodez seven minutes in and neither goalkeeper has had too much to do as of yet Sibert for the most part, has been something of a bystander here for Rodez. Has the ball in her possession here. And she's given the ball away rather carelessly to Horan. Rather crudely challenged by Pierre-Louis. Free kick Leon.
Well, these are the positions where Leon can be so deadly. Free kicks in this kind of range. First real test for Rodez at the back here. As Renard finds herself in a familiar position in the middle, tussling with the home team defence. Debritz and Marajan waiting patiently. Debritz sends a deep ball in and it's Renault who is the target, making things pretty awkward in the middle. Besho couldn't turn on. And eventually the whistle for a foul in the middle. While well, Seabear, the Rodez goalkeeper, came out to meet Renard there. She made a bold decision. And it very nearly all went wrong. Lovely delivery from Rodez that caused the initial problem. And then Besho just couldn't quite turn it goalwards. For a moment there was panic, as there so often is when Wendy Renard is inside the penalty area. Rodez will live to fight another day, though, and they have the free kick. Amadine Henri meeting that one in the air. Marajan battling to win it, turns back to Henri, and then it's another foul by Rodez. All very well scrapping to win the ball, but we know how good Leon can be from set pieces. Debritz with another ball into the area. Henri after this one, and Besho, and again it's the goalkeeper Seabear who comes to claim and gathers up. Much better this time at dealing with the threat that Leon were providing. There's a clear tactic from Rodez here, not to give Leon any time on the ball. Working pretty well so far. They may have to ride their luck, you expect that. Against Leon, they are the best in the world. Cascarino with a lovely touch. She's away, delivers in towards Besho, who can't get there. Cross came in ever so slightly behind Besho. Gave the opportunity for Rodez to clear, but they have more work to do here as Moroni comes forward. Besho again is the target. This time the flag is raised. Up it goes for offside. Besho, as she went for the ball there, did catch the face of Seabear, but the goalkeeper quickly back up onto her feet. Haran trying to get there in the middle. Gilles feeding the ball wide. Those two will uh, face, each other, face each other in the She Believes Cup. Not too far away now. Four of the best sides in the world on the international stage. Canada, Japan, the US and Brazil all facing each other as preparations continue for the World Cup this summer. Sonia Bonpastor might be hoping that uh, the Lyon players don't see too much in the way of action after the injury troubles that Lyon have had this season. National coaches may just have other ideas, though. Moroni looking for Besho. 
not given any room to run. Gelati comes across to clear away. Well, this doesn't look so good for Rodez here. Champanak has gone down. Doesn't look in very good shape either. And the physio team are called on here to attend to Solène Champanak. Rodez wouldn't be too happy, I would imagine, to change the structure of the midfield, which is working ever so hard at the moment to keep Leon at bay. Have been a couple of occasions where we've seen Leon attack in a way that we have come to expect. Cascarino, Marijan, Debritz and Haran haven't really been able to connect though in a way that has really troubled Rodez. Nothing too meaningful so far. Fourteen minutes in, you would imagine that uh, Mathieu Ruffier, the Rodez coach, would be pretty happy, although he's watching on nervously here as Champanac continues to receive treatment. And as much as the Rodez players should be concerned about the welfare of their teammate here, you can see that Leon are waiting in formation, waiting to pounce. Champanak, meanwhile, continues to grimace. She will try and walk this one off, but I'm not sure I see her continuing here. Doesn't look as though she can put weight on that ankle. And there is Ruffier. Looking for some communication. Momentarily, Rodez are down to 10 players. And Leon, as you can probably imagine, are pretty eager to get things going here. Moroni on the run. Won't quite get there, though. The ball over hit from Vanessa Gilles. It was a nice idea from the Canadian international. Babont dropping in to touch the ball backwards and Rodez will try and carry themselves to safety. Barrier this time is challenged. And that's good centre forward play. Good hold up. Did well to draw the challenge. And win the free kick whilst Champonac continues to receive treatment on the side of the field. Terry Yu unable to get to that one. Now the chance to break here with Haran, who is instantly challenged. Instantly, though, the ball is given away. Renard sending one long, looking for the run of Cascarino. Champanac has returned to the field here, which is perhaps a surprise as Damaris Egarula finds a smaller amount of room to operate in, in that central area. There's not too much of it. It's pretty congested in there. Rodez now on the breakaway, and they have got beyond the Leon defence here. Stevenet looking for the cutback. Nobody there waiting, though. Well, just for a moment, you wondered whether or not Rodez were about to spring a surprise and put the first goal of the new year beyond this Leon defence. Didn't make the most of what was a pretty promising position. Damaris Segarola with room to roam. 
has found Sombat. Well, she was allowed to carry the ball, Sombat. Conch, who has been with Rodez since she was six years old. Pretty formidable fighter. Jumped in with the challenge. Leon do have a throw in though. Besha was the target, hooked away again by this Rodez defense that continues to work ever so hard. Cannon was trying to break away there, but she was fouled inside her own half. Wasn't so happy with the challenge. No card though from the referee for this challenge here. Wendy Renard does enough to get rid of the danger. The most capped player for Leon. Approaching the big 450. Looking to make it another landmark season. Her uh, trophy cabinet is pretty impressive, decorated with Champions League trophies and League titles as well. Cascarino has pulled across towards the left-hand side here, having spent most of the game on the right. And she's found Debritz, who continues her return to the team. This time she has been dispossessed, the former Bayern of PSG midfielder. Well, it's the all-important 20-minute mark for Rodez. They've got there without conceding. But over the years, one of Leon's best traits is that they have learned to be patient. Cascarino with the flick on. She's found Debritz. Does well to shield the ball. Sombat poking on and now Cascarino again and again there is room on the left hand side it's through the middle they'll go though and Besho is away here big chance for Leon who opened the goal scoring unselfish from Besho who feeds the ball back to Cascarino and on the 20 minute mark Leon with the breakthrough goal they've worked ever so hard Rodez at the back to keep Leon at bay but they waited and waited for their perfect chance. And despite missing some of their best attacking talents, Leon forced their way through. Besho into Cascarino. The first goal of the game. Rodez nil, Leon won. Well, Cascarino, who scored in the Coupe de France, is on the score sheet again. And Leon are on their way. It was always going to be a big challenge for Rodez. It will be a big challenge here to score against Leon. They've been pretty tough to break down of late. There was something of a collapse by Rodez when they played against Lyon in the Coupe de France at the start of the month. They'll be eager here to prevent another 8-0 scoreline. Might just depend on what kind of mood Lyon are in here. Foul on Debritz, just outside of the penalty area.
Leon have sent forward the cavalry as the ball comes in towards the back of the area. Haran is waiting, scoops it goalwards. Besho with the flick on. The assistant's flag is up though to say the ball has gone out of play. And it will be a Rodez goal kick, much to the relief of the Rodez defenders who are backtracking. Risky pass into a central area. Barbonce does well to recover, turns, sends away. And Rodez can look to build on the left-hand side. Well, it did look as though the ball had gone out of play. Good decision by the officials. Now here is Besho. Flicks on to Cascarino. Again, those two combine well. She has a quick look up. There was nobody beyond her. The avenue for the pass was slightly blocked off too. Does well to keep holes. Damaris Segarula brings Wendy Renard into play. She chips on. Well, Haran had made that late run into the area. Just unable to pick her out with the pass. Here's Haran. Looking for room. There isn't too much. Up against Pierre Louis. Cascarino dances away though into the area. Chips goalwards. Could so easily have been a second for Leon. The pass inches away from being perfect from Delphine Cascarino. Leon are really going up through the gears now though. She'll very nearly stumbled on the ball. She'll go all the way back to Christian Enla. Space is opening up here for this Leon side. Maroni pushing further and further forward on the left here. Megarula brought into play. Vanessa Gil carries forwards. And now Marajan in what looks like a pretty big year for her. Missed out last season, Jennifer Marajan on the Champions League final and also the European Championships as well. Back though after her troubles with injury, at seven months away from the pitch. And making such a big difference for Leon, especially given their injuries that they now have. On the ball here, scooping wide towards Cascarino, who's on the run. Bogey can intercept, she's given it to... Lindsay Horan, though, who chips into the box. Besho lurking, punched away by Seabear. And the goalkeeper has to blow the whistle with what looks like a head collision in the middle. Damaris Segarola not so happy. She had the ball in the back of the net, but it won't count here. Besho and Seabear, the goalkeeper, both collide. A pretty nasty looking challenge between the two of them. Gellert, he looks as though she may have also been caught too. Well, they have to be so careful now, and it's right that they are. Physio staff being kept busy here in the early stages of the game, a game in which Leon find themselves just about ahead. Cascarino fed in by Besho, unselfishly played the pass to give Leon the lead. Well, they certainly don't look like a team that should be at the uh, wrong end of the table. They've fought pretty hard, although they haven't necessarily provided much in the way of attack, although they do have a new recruit on the bench today, arriving from Marseille. Yamamasha Issa may be the one who will help them out 
as we uh, move towards the business end of the season. See Bear, the Rodez goalkeeper, not for the first time with a collision involving her head in the game. And uh, this time she again is back up onto her feet and looking okay. Barrier couldn't bring under control. Haran can feed forwards. Nice touch from Cascarino. Cascarino wide to Moroni, who joined the attack. Decent challenge from Terrio. Terrio, who started her career with Lyon and has been fairly open in saying that her heart still very much lies with the champions. Seemed to put all of her heart into that challenge on Moroni. Cascarino has been so effective in this game so far. Rodez have really struggled to, to deal with her. And it's her goal that splits the two teams here. Megarola trying to get to the byline and she does muscle her way through. Might drop here for Haran. It's glanced away to safety maybe by Bogey. The effort does come through the traffic, but it's relatively easily picked up in the end by Seabet. Vanessa Gilles looking for the spectacular with the volley. Bashal was certainly looking for the penalty, but the uh, referee waving play to go on. Moroni can keep the ball in play. Has found Cascarino. up towards Besho. Besho manages to evade one challenge. Can't quite evade the second. Here's Marajan. Now Damaris Egarula. Moroni's pass. Debrit's waiting. She delivers. And the cross is blocked by Cannon who came across. Nice turn by Marijan. She passes into space to find Cascarino. Couldn't quite open things up for the shot on goal. The ball into the area looks dangerous though. Haran in an offside position. And despite the best efforts of Besho, that one won't count. There was a period of time though, just before Christmas, where Leon seemed to have lost their identity, but they're really clicking now. And this is without Macario, without Hegerberg, who are both expected to be back within the next three or four weeks. Just in time, of course, for the Champions League. Whether or not they have the fitness for the Champions League tie remains to be seen, but uh, certainly seems to be what Leon are building towards. Const as well to keep hold of the ball. She feeds it wide, but Rodez can't do too much with it. And Leon look relatively untroubled so far. Another collision here. Barrier back up onto her feet for Rodez, but the physio team again will have to come across here.
Well, this was the challenge. And it's Damaris Segarula, who on falling down was just caught by the knee of Konz, who was in behind. There was no malice in the challenge. She just happened to be in the wrong position, Konz, as Damaris Segarula fell backwards. Wendy Renard seems fairly happy that she should be OK. Mathieu Ruffier with some words. Eleven minutes to go until the break. You would imagine we'll have a chunk of injury time with a fair few collisions that have had the physio staff on the pitch. Damaris Segarilla back up onto her feet here. Took a while to get going at Leon, but she's now a firm fixture in the midfield. Really important component for Leon, Damaris Segarilla. Just sits in there and does. Uh, what would often be described as the dirty work, but such an important role, breaking up attacks, bringing the more creative players in the team into play. Haran has moved into a more central position. Tamara Segarula, though, now back onto the field, and Haran can make her way further forward as Jill carries on and her ball makes it through to Moroni. Moroni with a chance to deliver looking for goal number two well the best they can do is send one over the top of the crossbar Debritz who's been excellent in recent weeks in a good position was rather fortuitous here for Leon this wasn't the pass that Jill was looking for did drop though for Moroni whose cutback was good the finish though over the bar from Debritz One to chase here for Gilles. The Canadian international has company, but she takes the safe route here back towards the Chilean international, Christian Enler. And then Renard can carry to safety. Clearance away from Enler, not the best. Debritz has to come in to tidy up here for Leon. would imagine today that Sonia Bonpastor would be hoping that Leon can create enough of a, a gap in terms of goals between themselves and Rodez that they might be able to give some game time to the likes of Amel Majri who is on the bench again today looking to step up her return from a spell away from the team had the injury and then of course was pregnant and Ellie Carpenter who hasn't played since the Champions League final is on the bench for Leon today, the Australian international looking to get some much needed minutes on her return. Sonia Bonpastor may not look to make those changes given that Leon at the moment are only one goal to the good. Here is Besho. Nice touch into. Well, into uh, Haran, who went into the area to win the penalty. The referee took a couple of seconds to think about the decision, and the Rodez players are arguing that the challenge came outside of the penalty area. The assistant in deep discussion with Solem Barbons, who, well, is remonstrating here. She's not happy at all. Neither is the captain, Lorraine Conch suggesting there is a mark on the edge of the area the initial contact did seem to come outside of the penalty area Leon though have a penalty the decision has been made now Wendy Renard will wait here 
to add a second goal here for Leon. Seabair being marched back to the spot. And Wendy Renard doing her best to remain composed. She's had to wait a fair while here, Wendy Renard. Leon centre back though steps up and scores. Leon double their advantage, perhaps in controversial circumstances, but the decision stands and the penalty is scored by Wendy Renard. Calm as you like from the captain. And it's just what Leon needed. Breathing room before half time. Well, there was a danger that Rodez might collapse just as they did in the Coupe de France. They've actually stuck to the task. And you can understand why they are fairly aggrieved with the decision that came for the penalty. You wouldn't exactly say that the second goal was deserved. Haran did look as though she was fouled outside of the penalty area, but both the referee and the assistant were in agreement. Now Sombat, who does well to dance around the challenge of Stevenette. Well, it looked there as though Marishan was lining up something special as she teed up what looked as though it was about to be acrobatic. In the end, uh, a hook away and out for a goal kick. Besho has won the ball here. She's found Marijan. Cascarino, though, had no time to turn. She ran straight into the challenge of Pierre-Louis. And it's Pierre-Louis who has continued her run here. And she's worked it wide into a good crossing position for Rodez. Stevenair, though, runs into Gilles, who does pretty well to block. Rodez do have a throw in, looking to bite back before the half time whistle here. Conce into the area. And Damaris Segarola made that one look pretty easy. Renard whose second goal makes things so much more comfortable here for Leon. Moroni. Nice pass from Haran, well weighted. And in they are for goal number three, it's Marishan this time. Well, she's had her troubles with injury this season, but more recently she's had a continued spell in the team and she is taking full advantage going from strength to strength as Leon R2 goal number three comes before half time too much space for Marijan to pick her spot and she fires it beyond Seabair to make it Rodez nil Leon three Well, the penalty was always going to be a hammer blow and it has certainly allowed Leon to remove the brakes 
uh, Marijan. Before half time, looks as though she has killed off the game. Marijan's pass finds Haran here, who's had such an influence in midfield on the game. The chief controller dictating the tempo. Now Renard. Chipped in by Marajan. Looking to turn provider this time. It's uh, glanced away at the back by Rodez. And Besho won't get to that one. Well, certainly not to trouble the Rodez goalkeeper. She's done pretty well to keep it in, though. Debritz gets past two, delivers in. Cascarino controls and then fires the effort over the top of the crossbar. Well, Debritz did superbly well there to get beyond the Rodez defence. Picked out Cascarino with a lovely pass. It would have been some goal. Look at this for a turn. Away from a couple. Presence of mind to pick out her teammate. The control was good. The finish was wayward, though. <laughs> Marajan. In a central area, moving it wide. Cascarino has to check her run. She's onside, though. Cascarino feeds into Marishan, who slides in to grab her second. And goal number four for Leon. Well, the football was so fluid, so pleasing on the eye. It looked as though perhaps the moment was gone. Cascarino, though, with such a lovely pass, a wonderful run by Marijan, slips between the Rodez defenders and then slides in to put it beyond Seabet, to put the game beyond any doubt. And we're not even into the second half yet. Well, the turning point in the game was definitely the penalty. And since then, Rodez have just allowed their confidence levels to drop. And Leon, in moments like that, will seize the opportunity. We've seen it time and time again. Now, just look at them fizzing with confidence. Cascarino this time, wide to Somba. It could even be five before half time, you know. Dropped by Seabert, Moroni to Marijan, she'll cut back. Damaris Agarula arriving, but sending the effort over the top of the bar. Well, as far as first halves go, pretty perfect from Leon so far. At the start of the season, without question, there would have been those, both domestically and also in Europe, who were looking on at Leon and their injuries and their results and thinking maybe this will be our chance. Maybe there's an opening here. But they are back to their best. And they are the team to beat. Here's Haran, looking for the give and go with Cascarino. No way through this time.
Well, it's the perfect first half for Leon, who have put four past Rodez. The penalty was certainly the turning point. Haran brought down in the penalty area. Renard from the spot made it two. Marajan since then has added a couple to add to the first from Cascarino. Rodez bottom of the table. And behind here, it's 4-0 to Leon at the break. We'll join you back for the second half shortly. Welcome back. We prepare for the second half here of Rodez against Leon. There have been three changes made by Leon here in the second half. Amel Majri, who continues to step up her return after being away, firstly with injury and then with the um, pregnancy as well, had 470 days away from the first team. She's onto the field. Van der Donk. And Cena Brun also in on the action. And Leon can afford to make changes given that they are 4 0 ahead. Question is here are they set to repeat the 8 0 scoreline that they managed to achieve at the turn of the year in the Coupe de France against Rodez? Rodez will be hoping that won't be the case. The goal difference column could well make a big difference come the end of the season. Certainly eager for the restart, Rodez, at the second time of asking, we do get things underway. And it's Leon, the champions, who gets things started here. An almost perfect first half. They were in scintillating form. And this without a number of their top players. Just imagine what they'll be like when the likes of Hegerberg and Macario return frightening prospect again for those across Europe here is Moroni trying to send the ball forward looking for the give and go 
Cascarino in an offside position. Well, whilst a number of their top attacking talent has been away for Leon, the others have had to form a bond, and it's in midfield where they now have this newfound partnership. Egarula and Lindsay Horan so effective in the first half and alongside Debritz and Marajan that triangle in midfield almost more of a diamond I suppose just proving to be such a punisher for Rodez Sombat away here feeds the ball into an area a bit too close to Seabet who's able to gather up There was certainly fortune in the first half. Rodez were defending well. And even after the first goal from Cascarino went in, they certainly looked as though they were more than a match for Leon. But the penalty decision changed the match, really. Killed the hope of Rodez. And from there, Leon just went from strength to strength. And they look eager for more goals here. Van der Donk. Again, looking for that ball towards the far post. Cascarino won't get to that one as it's cleared away. Not the best of clearances, though. Has given Leon the opportunity from the corner. And, of course, with some big games on the horizon, the Coupe de France game where Leon will face Ram. Champions League coming up as well. Those that have come onto the field, the likes of Majri van der Donk and Bruin will be Eager to make an impression here as Marajan, who is on a hat-trick, comes across to take a corner. Delivers in, Leon looking for goal five. Well, there were a few of them there lining up the header. It was Gilles in the end who managed to meet it. Best she can do, though, is put that one wide when there was definitely a big opportunity there. Damaris Egarula tries to turn the ball around the corner. Cunts in a central position, wins it, finds Barrier. And now Terriou. Barrier stays wide, delivers in the cross. Stevenar was there to arrive and get the effort away. Much more progressive from Rodez. May have left themselves slightly exposed here, though. Rodez looking for the flag, and the flag is raised. Marajan went a bit too early with the run. And she's penalised. And that will be a free kick. Cross here from Barrier, very nearly created a goal-scoring opportunity. Too many Leon defenders back there in the end. Sombat with the rather robust challenge there on Stevena, who manages to get the ball back towards Bogey. Marajan has found Cascarino. No way through this time for Leon, and it's Kans who can bring the ball away. Well, Stephen Air was certainly making the run out towards the left hand side, but she maybe released the ball a bit too early there, Kans. Leon free kick. This was the challenge. Well, 
Well, there's every reason for Rodez to put in a good performance here and to try and find their peak and fight with the best, given the fixtures that they have on the horizon. Swayo, Fleury, Le Havre, Dijon and Ram all on the horizon in terms of fixtures. Plenty of games against those around them in the table. Important matches over the next month to two months for Rodez. One win for the season so far against Fleury. So that's their uh, next match after Swayo, who are not too far above them in the table, only above them on goal difference. So that will be a big matchup. Big matchup coming next weekend, in fact. And there's a good ball into the area. Saw the run there of Renard, who was making her way around the back. Did well to uh, evade the marking, but she couldn't make the touch. Now counts with the ball. Son back with the slip. Chance to break forward here for Stephen Eyre, who puts the ball into a good position in the middle. Well, it opened up there, and if Barbons had been found with the pass, there was space that had opened up on the right-hand side for Tarrier. Well, it took Leon a while in the first half to uh, get themselves into what was a nice attacking rhythm. Once they were there, they were pretty electric, but now have started the second half in much the same shape. A couple of times they've drifted offside. It's a real credit to Rodez, who clearly have a game plan in the second half. Struggled for goals this season, Rodez, but at the back, certainly not the worst in the division. Got some work to do here as Leon find themselves on the charge again and looking for another. Good defending. Terrier was back there to clear away and help out. There are plenty in the French top flight who have conceded more than Rodez. Coming into this one, Gengon Swayo, Dijon, even Bordeaux all have a worse goals against record than Rodez do at the bottom of the table. That might stand them in good stead. Need to start trying to find some goals from somewhere though. And you wonder how long before their new signing, Yama Mija Issa, is onto the field. They'll uh, have an effort on goal here, which isn't too far away. Did well to break away. Stephen Hart racing through the middle. Had a good game. Given the circumstances, was well found here. Managed to get beyond Gilles. Beat the goalkeeper too. At the other end, Leon looking to add another. But Cascarino can't connect. Cascarino will go for goal here. Well, when you're 4 0 up, you can certainly try those. Not seen too much of Cena Brun in the second half. Danish international yet to get into the game. Such a big opportunity for her this season with. Uh, Hegerberg and Macario away from the team, but unfortunately for her, she's had her own injury problems to contend with. Might just be that focal point that Leon are looking for, for all of the plus points that this team have. Haven't had an out and out goal scorer this season. Ball towards the far post here, finds Cascarino, who on the volley puts over the top of the bar. 
She's been bright today. Returning at just the right time for Leon. Scored the first goal of the game, eager to add some more here, but uh, she couldn't quite get onto that one to make it goal number five, but Leon are looking for it. Counts drifting away, trying to feed it through. The run of Stephen Air was the one she was looking for, but it's intercepted in midfield by Leon, and Moroni can bring the pass away. Bit too easy for Leon to transition through that central area. Cascarino now can shift it wide. Egarula with the flick. And it's another penalty, would you believe it? Well, everybody looks mystified here as the ball bounced up. It looked as though it hit an arm. The referee with a big shout. And now Leon do have the opportunity to make it a five-star performance. Rodez have been working ever so hard in the second half to try and keep the scoreline down. But here as Moroni delivered, the cross came in. And two players actually had their arms raised. Arms in an unnatural position. The referee really could only make one decision. Gelati is penalised. And now from the spot, this would be a moment as Majri steps up. A real crowd favourite for Leon. She's been away for a while. She announces her return, though, from the spot. Leon do make it five. A second penalty for the afternoon. This one dispatched by Amel Majri. Well, she had a tough time with injury. She was away with pregnancy following that injury. She's back. And she's on the score sheet here. A magnificent strike to make it 5 0. Well, if Sonia Bonpastor could have written down the perfect afternoon here in the perfect performance, probably would have gone something like this. Still half an hour remaining in the game. Leon looking to strike again. That did look like a foul. Gellert here with the challenge on Cascarino. Not sure a third penalty would have gone down particularly well with the Rodez players or supporters. Well, this was the challenge here that looked... Well, slightly suspect, let's say. Not something that Leon will be complaining about too much, given the scoreline here. Well, Champanak, who was injured in the first half, finally removed. And it's uh, Eloise Siven who comes on in her place. And there'll be a second change as well. Yasmin Hall is uh, coming onto the field.
And Ben Yea also into the action for Leon. End of the afternoon for Damir Segarula. Another fine performance in the middle. Again, catching the eye. No need to risk her, especially given the injuries that Leon have had over the season. Chance to grab some much needed minutes for Ines Benyea. Leon will certainly be hoping now that they can keep themselves away from the injuries that have uh, threatened to rock their season. They've somehow managed to navigate their way through despite so many being away. Looks like a month where they should do pretty well, to be honest with you. Bordeaux, Fleury and Gengom in the league and then the Coupe de France quarter-final match as well. And they'll face Ram on the 4th or the 5th of March. And things will start to get a bit more troublesome, perhaps. We've got the Champions League games, of course, which will be upcoming. And Lyon will certainly be eager to do their best in the Coupe de France, looking to retain the trophy after PSG ran out winners last time around. Some trouble here with the captain's armbands. Wendy Renard handing over the responsibility to Christian Enler. And making her way off here. Didn't have much to do in truth. But Ellie Carpenter is back. And what a moment this is for her. She was injured in the Champions League final. She's been away since then. The Australian international back into the fold for Leon. At this stage, they won't be expecting too much after such a long layoff, but she's only 22. If she can recover quickly, she will be a welcome addition for Leon. Big year for her with the World Cup upcoming, of course, in Australia and New Zealand. So I'm sure she would love to be there for that, but. First and foremost, I'm sure she'll just be looking to to get some minutes and not getting ahead of herself. We'll be taking it step by step. Modez tried to break away. They've really troubled Leon. They have one chance in the first uh, sorry at the be beginning of the, the second half which looked as though it could well have crept in but for the most part Leon have looked pretty secure at the back and they found it all too easy to create goal scoring opportunities van der Donk runs into trouble she was hoping to find the free kick but the decision never comes from the referee looking for Sina Brun unable to find her teammate and uh, Seabear with a big clearance away here is Marajan now Sombat first touch here for Ellie Carpenter, quick give and go, just uh, testing out the legs. Nice football this, Cascarino and Carpenter again. Crossing opportunity for Leon, looking for goal six. Well, it was Leon who were looking for the decision in the middle. Instead, it goes in the opposite direction. It's uh, Gellerty who was the one who was pushed here. And actually, it looked as though there was an arm that came and there was never a shove. Well, they were not so happy, Rodez, with the decision that came for the penalty. 
The second goal for Wendy Renard. That there looked as though it should have been a third spot kick. Gelati reaching up into the air. She's injured herself in the process here. The only one that really seemed to spot that was Cena Brun, who was the closest to the action. Rodez will be hoping that Gelati hasn't injured herself here. She'll be vital down the stretch as uh, Rodez will have to fight tooth and nail to stay in the division. Perfect result though for Leon. Four net ahead at half time and then in the second half adding the fifth. The start of the season, there certainly wasn't a great feeling around the squad with all of the injuries. Leon have had to grind to get themselves back up to the top, to get themselves through in the Champions League. But now there is this new feeling that has replaced the old one. The return of players like Majri and Carpenter will only help Sonia Bonpastor and the team's battle to retain their titles. Well, Galati continues here to receive treatment. The Poo, the referee, will have to take charge. Achu Ruffier, the Rodez coach, knows that it was always looking like a big, big mountain to climb here this afternoon, and it's proved to be the case. Not necessarily looking for the surprise of the season, though. Looking for his team to turn up in the games to follow. Well, there is concern here, and you saw the motion, perhaps, of Barbonce there. She just gave the motion to the bench that there will be a change. Don't exactly have the biggest squad, Rodez. Busquets is uh, being lined up to come on, though. The good news, as far as Rodez fans are concerned, is that uh, Gelati has sat up. It's looking like a shoulder injury, possibly the neck. Well, I think I know what's about to come, and I'm not sure I necessarily want to watch this one, but uh, the physio is perhaps just testing to see whether or not it's a dislocated shoulder. At this stage for Rodez, there is no point taking any risks. The game is virtually done, and whilst Goal difference could prove to be crucial at the end of the season. It'd be far better for Rodez to have Gelati involved in the games that are coming with those that are around them. A big one coming next weekend against the team above them in the table. Intriguing battles. All the way through the French top flight with Rodez and Swayo involved with Gengamp in a pretty significant battle at the bottom. Race for third place also looking very intriguing after Montpellier's win against Bordeaux.
Leon's through the middle here and van der Donk away and very nearly squeezing in. Did brilliantly to, to get the shot away when it looked as though the moment was lost. Former Arsenal player just managed to make her touch and in the end wasn't too far away. Manages to win a corner. The referee here is coming to the side of the field with a yellow card in her hands. And finally, we'll, we'll get the change for Rodez. In fact, Gellerty has come back onto the field. No substitution. Leon corner gathered up by Seabet. Well, this is a surprise. It looked to me as though Gellerty was about to be removed. And there's the confirmation of the yellow card for you. It was Sonia Bonpastor. Well, and Rufier too, both given the yellow cards. Leon again in behind. Cascarino this time with the cutback, looking for goal number six. And it probably should have been two. Cascarino with the opening. Unsure here why she didn't go for goal. Tried to tee up one of her teammates instead. Didn't quite make the ball back towards Ben Yea. And then Mashri couldn't get there either. on back to chip one forward it's a ball which is searching for Cascarino Puggy had to come across and again it's another corner for Leon This corner taken short in towards the front post where Rodez had plenty of red shirts waiting to knock the ball away. Oh, very nearly a mistake at the back, but they've just about done enough to win it back. Got quite lucky. Shields pass. Wide it goes here to Cascarino. She's left it for Carpenter. Don't really seem to be any effects of the injury that she's had. She may say differently after the match, but Ellie Carpenter looks as bright as ever on the right hand side here for Leon. Which will be fantastic news for Sonia Bonpastor as she looks for more options, given away by Rodez at the back. And they've got sloppy in the final few moments here. Benier on the charge, can't do too much with it this time. Has won another corner though here for Leon. Slight mix up at the back, and there wasn't really any need for Rodez to make the touch. Marajan will come across here. Oh, 
Marishan's ball swung in and it will be another corner. It's uh, deflected at the front post off of Cannon. Marajan will go deeper this time and it's clawed away by Seabert. Shill was right there with her, but goalkeeper leapt and managed to push away. A rare touch for Enler at the back and Leon will start again here. They are so relentless hasn't really been any let up in the second half the only thing that's changed is that leon have changed the number of the personnel who are on the field and as a result maybe they have lost that rhythm that they had ever so slightly but also what you do have are a collection of individuals who are keen to make a mark looking to get themselves in the lineup for the big games that are coming up between now and the end of the season. Cascarino here towards Carpenter, whose pass is good. Van der Donk manages to keep hold of the ball. And in the end, she fouls Bogey. Leon lifting into the area. Cena Brun was the target with the ball for Majri. Wasn't too far away from connecting with the striker. Instead, it's Seabear who is able to gather for Rodez. Carpenter wins it back. Marajan happy to, happy to send it backwards before Leon do too much with it. Moroni needed the run a bit earlier from Cena Brun. She didn't really move. And that gave the opportunity for Yasmin Hall to step in and make the challenge. Another change coming up for Rodez here. And uh, Boggy sees her afternoon come to an end. And uh, Busquet, who was going to come on for Gelati earlier on in the game, finally does get her chance to get in on the action here. Whether or not you really want in on the action when your team are 5-0 down is perhaps a different matter. 10 minutes to go. Cascarino is challenged and has lost the ball. Hall is in there scrapping for it. Now Moroni back to Cascarino, flicks into the area. Only succeeds in finding Gelati though. Mashri has been pretty uh, useful at winning the ball back since coming on. Carpenter has also looked good on this side too. Carpenter delivers now a ball to the back of the area. Leon looking for goal number six here. Well, they've had plenty of chances to score it in this game, that's for sure. But again, it's a, another chance that they miss. Van der Donk gets the give and go, spots the space on the right-hand side. Carpenter again lifts the ball into the area this time a bit too close to see there an easy gather for the goalkeeper well every time she's an outlet every time they win the ball there is so much room 
created here by Ellie Carpenter, stretching the pitch on the right-hand side. Cena Brune saw the run late. Rodez were looking for the offside and, uh, well, they got the decision. Had she played the ball a bit earlier, Cena Brune, they would have been in again. Mashri had the chance there maybe to lay the ball off and it could well have been goal number six. Well, Alice Sombat has certainly been a revelation for Leon over the season. She's one of those that has definitely benefited from the absence of those with injury, but she might now see a place on the right-hand side of defence under some threat with Eddie Carpenter looking pretty fresh on the right-hand side. It's what Leon haven't really had across the season, and that's options. They've really just had to pick the players who have been the most fit, whereas now we move into a slightly different time, perhaps, providing that those who are on the field can stay fit. Van der Donk is fouled and wins the free kick. Terrier was ever so slightly late. Sombat, who has moved into a defensive role, moves it wide towards Carpenter. Van der Donk now finds Majri. Van der Donk away from one into a crossing position. She delivers. Good looking ball as well. Rodez defenders had to be alert. They glance away, they concede the corner. Still hunting Leon. Van der Donk with the corner, which is cleared away, but only as far as Majri, who can deliver in. Marajan trying to send it back into the danger zone, and Anaya with a similar idea. Carpenter's pass finds Van der Donk. Another crossing opportunity here. The Rodez defence being given a real workout in the second half. No let up from Leon. Maybe a chance to break away here though for Hall, for Rodez. Just look at the white shirts though, back in good number. Retreating back into their own half, fighting right to the very final whistle. And that's why they're the champions. That kind of attitude. Here is Moroni. Moroni makes her run, moves in field, looking for the free kick. No whistle from the referee. Into the final five minutes here. More changes coming up here for Rodez. Stephen R had a, a good afternoon, but she has been removed. And the captain, Cons, also off. And it's a new signing who's on. Yama Mijir Issa, who has arrived from Marseille, was with Leon it's, uh, as a young player, was in the under 19 setup. 
both her and Grok coming onto the pitch. Well, Rodez will be hoping that their new signing, Issa, can be the one to make a real difference. She's young, she's only 19, but she was very highly regarded at Lyon and Marseille. Needs somebody with pace and who can make a difference at that end of the field, and maybe she'll be the player. Sombat. Up to Carpenter. Just slightly over hit. Was looking for Van der Donk. Tough to pass your way through Leon. That was the avenue that Rodez went for. Van der Donk has it back now. Why to Cascarino. Cascarino's ball is good. Waiting at the far post was Cena Brun. Who's looking for the corner here? Made a good run as well, Cena Broom, but maybe just didn't attack the ball in a way in which she could cause enough trouble. Ball into the area here for Van der Donk. Well, that looked destined for the back of the net, but it's a brilliant recovery by Pierre-Louis. First touch here from Van der Donk, absolutely superb. Around the goalkeeper with the effort. Some clearance, though. Well, the ball did come into play and then went straight back out again and there's no trouble for Rodez this time. Hasn't put much of a foot wrong here, Marajan, so we can forgive her for that. She's been brilliant again here this afternoon. You always wonder how players will react after a long time out with injury, but Marajan back to the fore and looking like one of Leon's best players at the moment. And when you're a shining light in a team full of players like Haran and Cascarino and Wendy Renard you're doing something right that's for sure <laughs> Nelly Carpenter get on the run Eager to impress on her return. They've been pretty patient with her, Leon. Looks as though she's doing pretty well after her rehabilitation. Moroni is into a good position here for Leon. Well, she didn't have an option in the middle. She made the cutback. There was nobody there. Did everything right, but it was really Cascarino's space to invade, but she never really went. And Moroni. Well, there was no route to goal, ended up losing the ball. Van der Donks won it back. We are on the 90 here. We await to find out how much additional time there will be in the game. Carpenter saw the angle for the uh, cross close down. At least four minutes of additional time in the game. Marjorie's pass, and then uh, a rather ambitious try for Marijan.
Well, she's won the corner. It must have brushed the hair of Sivan. This time it will be Van der Donk who will be the one to take this corner in towards the front post it goes. Gilles is attacking it. She can't get there. Cascarino sends in another ball. It's been heading practice for Rodez over the last few minutes. Cross after cross coming into their penalty area. They don't make life easy for you, Leon. They only know one way. And that is why they've been so successful. Why they are the best club on the planet. And it's yet another Leon corner. Into the front post this time. Credit to Rodez, they have handled everything thrown at them in open play in the second half. Did concede the penalty though. Couldn't have too much in the way of argument about the second penalty kick. I mean, they they did uh, try and protest to the referee, but certainly uh, Gelati had her arm raised and it was in an unnatural position and she was far enough away from the cross for it to be a penalty when it hit her arm. Cascarino's ball into Marijan. Scoops one on. Still looking for more Leon, and they would celebrate goal number six as if it was goal number one. Winning habits die hard. Cascarino, you can see, disappointed that that pass wasn't the one that she was hoping for. Pressure on for PSG, who play on Sunday had such a big opportunity at the top of the table that result against Fleury though the 4-4 draw such a block on their paper the moment that has changed the title race the moment that gave Leon the chance Job done for Leon. They open up a four point gap at the top of the table thanks to a 5 0 win. They wanted more. They chased for it in the second half, too. Rodez had to defend hard. The damage was already done, though, thanks to the four goals in the first half. It finishes here. Rodez nil. Leon five. Thanks for joining us on Atta Football.